The third group of lipids that you will need to know are the steroids. There are two steroids that are mentioned in this course that you probably are already familiar with. One is cholesterol and the other is testosterone. There is good cholesterol and bad cholesterol. The good cholesterol is found in the cell membrane and is required to establish the proper membrane permeability and fluidity. In addition, it is important within cells as cholesterol also serves as a precursor for the biosynthesis of other important molecules such as bile acids and vitamin D. Bad cholesterol is associated with cardiovascular disease because these promote arthrosclerosis. Arthrosclerosis is characterized by plaque deposits made up of cholesterol and other waste products that collect around the walls of blood vessels and narrow the path for blood flow, causing increased blood pressure. Testosterone, most of you probably already know, is the male sex hormone that plays a key role in the development of the male reproductive tissues, such as the testes and prostate gland. As well, it promotes secondary sexual characteristics, such as increased muscle, bone mass, and growth of body hair. In addition, testosterone is essential for health and well-being. You will spend more time in Unit 15 learning about testosterone. So for the steroids, you need to be able to classify cholesterol and testosterone as a steroid and know that steroids are classified as a type of lipid. You will also have to be able to identify the general structure of a steroid. Steroids are made of three six carbon rings bonded to one five carbon ring. All steroids have this basic skeletal structure. What makes one steroid different from another is the functional groups that are added to these carbon rings. You will never be asked to identify a molecule of testosterone from a molecule of cholesterol, so you do not need to worry about the exact chemical structure of either one. To summarize then, there are three lipids that you need to know. The neutral fats that look like a capital letter E and function as a long-term energy source. The phospholipids that look like a capital letter E but with a phosphate group on one of the rungs and it functions as a structural component of all cell membranes and membranous organelles within the cell. And finally, the steroids, with three six carbon rings bonded to one five carbon ring. And steroids function depends on the type of steroid, but testosterone and cholesterol are two types that you will need to know for this course.